What is going on everyone? Welcome to 24-7 Football. We hope you've all had a very, very Merry Christmas. I hope you're now doing what myself and Ben will be doing on Boxing Day, which is eating ourselves to death. Unbelievable. What more do you want at Christmas? Mate, that Christmas dinner was absolutely delightful. So, you know, we move on to Boxing Day and we're eating even more food. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you've got your... You've got your New Year's resolution sorted for the new year to what, what, lose what all the weight. Want? What more do you want? I think oh, it's a mad, mad how you can see into the future and say that Christmas dinner was beautiful. Listen, we're trying, <laughs> we, you know, we're trying to make this authentic for the viewers. Sorry, so. sorry yeah. Merry Boxing Day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, so what we've got now is number seven on our top ten footballing moments of the decade. And it really was the decade of the comebacks, Ben. It was. It was. And there's so many drastic moments. I mean, we've had Chardini on our number 10 spot. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the, the, it was the year, it was the decade of the comebacks for me. Uh, I know we've had some famous ones down the years, you know, look at, look like some a Manchester United versus Bayern Munich, that sort of thing. But we've had some, uh, we've had some morale on this decade, so it'd be good to uh, go through them and try and jog your memory and re remember what happened. Absolutely. And we've chosen the three that we think are the best. Um, from all, all three come from the Champions League, actually, as well. Uh, first up, it is Liverpool beating Barcelona 4-0. And you know what? As a, as a City fan, oh, that was unbelievable. I could not believe what I was seeing. I thought after that messy free kick, the 3-0, they were dead and buried. Yeah, I think everyone, I think even Liverpool fans did. You know, um, I was surprised the attendance so high. I think there was a lot of... Uh, negativity going into the game. I don't think even the players really believe they could get back into it. Um, you know, there's a little bit of rotation from Klopp as well. I think even he thought, you know, there's not going to be a, too much of a chance. But the, unbel the unthinkable happened in that game. And, you know, you've only got to look at the uh, Alexander-Arnold corner as well. That was just... Mate, that was unbelievable. Gene, that absolute was unbelievable. Gene, One of the most intelligent pieces of play I've ever seen. But, to be fair, Barcelona should not be switching off that yeah, badly. Yeah. But... I'm sure that the viewers have Mate, seen I've it. I've never seen a team just capitulate. Just, yeah, literally just break down like that. That must have been horrible in the dressing room. I think. Well, I saw a video weirdly enough this morning uh, of the aftermath. Oh, of in that, the yeah, sorry, of the dressing yeah, room. Yeah, and it was just. Comp I've never seen anything where the people are so quiet. It was complete silence. The staff were just wandering around, you know, collecting the boots, but everyone was absolutely devastated and rightly so. And I can only imagine what the scenes were like. In the uh, Liverpool end, uh, Liverpool imagine, dressing room. Imagine, because you you've got to think about it from Liverpool's point of view as well. The day before, companies just screamed in that yeah. that thirty yard bully against Leicester. Pretty much means City are going to win the Premier League, and then you've got to go and face Barcelona. And Barcelona had chances that game. Mm. Suarez could not finish his dinner, and I, I felt a little bit sorry for Messi because he he he'd run the strings for those whole two games, and it was unfortunately the team around him that. Pitch and the defence was horrific. Defence was horrific, but take nothing away from Liverpool. They had a few injuries. No, for me, not Origi in that corner. Oh my god. Oh my. I've, you're right. I've never seen a more intelligent piece of play mm. in my life. And corner taken quickly. Origi. Un unbelievable. Unbelievable. So Liverpool um, up there at number seven, as well in the Champions League. We have to talk about Barcelona versus PSG. Again. Where did that come from? 4-1, the, the first leg. I think it, it was almost like calm for Barcelona. that They had that come back and then they had yeah, it happen to them exactly, as well. It was yeah. it was so weird, but you know I still remember that uh, that little chip ball over the top for Sergio Roberto to just knock it into the back of the net to secure the win for them. You know they need what well, they need five goals. What they need to, yeah, to win yeah. the well, game. Well, they needed six because Cavani scored. Well, there you go then. So it was you know it was. It was just it, absolutely unbelievable. And it's so hard to pick which was the better comeback. We've got one more as well, but it's so hard to pick which was the best comeback. But in terms of the amount of goals they had to score yeah. and the level of teams who were playing, PSG, you've got to bear in mind the players they've got at that football club as well. They're a fantastic outfit. They didn't rotate. They played full strength as well. So, you know, it was, it was absolutely incredible. To take nothing away from Barca, but there's no chance that should be happening. No. It's literally like Barca in, the, in that Liverpool game. Unai Emery was manager at the time, and they, just, they were just shocking. They were now it makes sense. Shocking. Now it makes sense why <laughs> yeah. they bottled it. So Arsenal had a weak mentality. So did PSG. Maybe it's Unai Emery, but but he won a lot of Europa leagues. He did win a lot of Europa leagues, yeah. but it was I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I could not believe what I was seeing. Neymar's free kick was unbelievable, and then 
have you seen the have you seen the Roberto goal with Titanic music? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mate. I think That's every goal, goal, I think right. every goal in the last minute is better with Titanic music. Just building it up and there's, boom. There's, there's one goal that strings to mind with Titanic music, but we'll then. Uh, we will get onto we that, will, George. We will get onto Don't get that. too excited. We will, we will, we will. Um, so um, that was Barcelona versus PSG. Unbelievable comeback. Did not expect that in the slightest, even though it's picked Barcelona, even though they were the best in the world at the time. Unbelievable. Um, and the next one, again in the Champions League, again from last season, in the semi-finals, Tottenham against Ajax. And we must say Ajax had an unbelievable team last season. Oh, they, they, they were fantastic. They were fantastic going through the semi-finals. It looks like they were going to be in the final of the Champions League. You know, 96th minute, last kick of the game, up steps Lucas Moura. He was unreal. He was absolutely unreal. unreal. Unbelievable individual performance. It was so... Und- they were just Doesn't not get you a start in the final though. No, no, Harry Kane comes straight in, straight into that final, and that was an absolute travesty. That and that could have that could have changed that final for me if Lucas Moura starts that game. But regardless, you know that was one of the best individual performances I've probably ever seen in on such a big stage as well. When it looked like they, they were dead and buried, he just shifts it onto his left foot, just slams it into the bottom corner, and they're into oh, the Champions un- League final. Unbelievable and. Now you've gone from there to now Pochettino's been sacked so just goes to show little bits like that don't guarantee you a job either yeah. right? or any yeah. loyalty but imagine that night in Amsterdam after that for the Spurs fans I don't, I don't let's not even get into the amount of things he must have been enjoying that night you know it would have been absolutely <laughs> incredible and you would have got carried away as well with the occasion so yeah I mean you've got to look at Ajax as well you know they, they had an incredibly young yeah. talented squad that looked like it's a Ziyech Delict was there at the time you know, uh, Van der Beek, you know, they had some really good players and Tottenham, to be honest, came into that game sort of on level playing terms for me, you know, in terms of ability and Lucas Moura comes on and just, well, Tottenham's the rest is history. that final was literally like fighting at the death. They nearly got knocked out of the group stages. You know, we talk about that game at the Etihad. That was the worst I've ever felt after a game when Sterling's goal got given offside by that much after throwing myself across this pub and giving it to all the Tottenham <laughs> fans. And then that's the karma. That's how karma works, my friend, George. That's how it works. And literally, to then running out of the pub and not going to work the next day at City and then it was just horrible. It was mm. the worst I've ever felt. And, yeah, so unbelievable Amazing. run from Spurs Mate. there. Um, and... He has. There's been some great comebacks and if you think we've missed any of them out, can, let us know. Can I just think, I've just thought of one. Arsenal versus Reading in the League Cup. Do you remember that? I do remember that. I do. It, it's just. It, it's not up. It's there not up there, but I think. But again, that's a great, great watch. Newcastle at home to Arsenal, four 0 down at half time. Czech Tiote, God rest his soul, volley into the boom. bottom, into the bottom left. I can't believe it. It's some fantastic comebacks. We've definitely missed some. We've definitely missed yeah, we some. But they were the ones that came to mind. Yeah, we have. Manchester United away at Sheffield. Um, oh, sorry, Sheffield United drew that in the last minute. Um, there's been there's been loads. There's been loads. Um, <laughs> someone's going to say Croatia against England. In the, oh, you know, so just let's time. let's not even talk about that. <laughs> let's just end this now. You're yeah. getting me emotional. End, end it there. So that was um, number seven on our top ten football moments. The decade of the comebacks. Um, there's been so many, and I think for me, I think the Liverpool one's the best one out of those. Just because they went on to win the Champions League, you know. I'd say Barcelona for me. They didn't go on to win the Champions League, but it was fantastic. Yeah. It was fantastic. And just in pure limbs, they're all up there. They're all up there. Absolutely brilliant. And that just shows what football can do. So, um, thank you everyone for watching today's video. Tomorrow, the 27th, we'll have our next moment. It is an absolutely brilliant video tomorrow. So, keep an eye out for that one. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Check Ben out on Twitter. His link will be in the description as well. Because um, why wouldn't they want to follow you, Ben? <laughs> That's it. Not a man of few words. So thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. A man of 140 characters. End the video.